Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll look over the system settings for the AVIC Z150BH. So from our home screen, we're going to touch the gear here and we will start off with our data edit. Now this is really a navigation setting. So we can edit our favorites and we can check our uh, history for searches, the searches that we've done, and we can delete routes that have been learned by the system and we can delete the travel log that can also be created by the system under this setting. We'll go back. Next is our Navi settings. Here, we have a couple of different things going on. We have our map display information, our guide information, and our traffic info information. Uh, you can see map display is lit up here with a little blue bar. As we move down through some of these settings, you're going to see guide will light up and then traffic info will light up. So first there's our road color. We, we can change the road colors from red to blue. Uh, next up is our 2D uh, lock scroll mode. We can turn that on or off. Next is our 3D landmark. We can have 3D landmarks, which are in, uh, largely in the cities. We can have those uh, turned on or off. Next is city map, which is extremely detailed map information. Again, when you are in city areas, we can turn that information on or off as well. We'll scroll down another page. Next is our city map barrier. We can show where that city map barrier appears, so with the mapping, where the mapping is going to change. We can switch that on or off. Next is our day and night display. Right now it's set to automatic, and that's probably the, se the setting that you want for most vehicles, so that when you turn on your headlights, this, the system will automatically switch to its nighttime setting. If you just want to force it into the daytime setting, you can do that as well. Next is our display travel log. Right now that it's turned on, we can choose to turn it off as well. And this is kind of a breadcrumb mode that drops little dots to show you where you've been driving. And we can delete our travel log here as well. We can delete it at home. We can delete it when we power off the car or leave it there uh, to check out later. So let's go down another page. And you see that we're uh, from map display information, we're also into guide information at this point. Um, we can our, see our current location information, which is the street name that you're currently on. But if you want, you can change that to Latin long coordinates as well, rather than street names. Uh, our route condition right now is set for fastest, but we can change that. We can change the route condition to the shortest, and we can change it to only use main roads. Uh, the difference between fastest and shortest can be very significant, so be, be aware of what you're choosing there. Next up uh, is toll roads. We are set to use toll roads. If you want to avoid toll roads, you can do that too. And our next one is a uh, ferry system. You can use the ferry system if you want, or you can uh, not use it. Up to you. Uh, right now, we have learning, learning route is set to on. We can choose to set that off if learning route is on. The roads that you normally drive on, the system will take note of those and use it to create routes. Uh, traffic avoidance is turned on. We can have traffic avoidance turned off as well. Uh, the AVIC Z150BH has a built-in traffic tuner uh, and will route you around traffic problems if you care to use it that way. Time restrictions is turned on. Some roads are inbound in the morning and outbound in the afternoon, that sort of a thing. So here, next up is our freeway. Right now we are set to use freeways, but we can avoid them. Occasionally you might want to avoid freeways during rush hour or if you have young drivers who aren't experienced enough to be on the freeway. Okay, we'll scroll down another page here. Uh, auto reroute choice, if we are uh, choosing the current route. You can also uh, choose to reroute to an alternate route. Next up is our distance uh, and uh, estimated time of arrival. Right now it's set for destination, but it could also be set for waypoints along the destination. Next up is our auto reroute. That is turned on right now by default. You could also turn auto reroute off if you want. And next up is our close-up view. That is turned on. This means that we'll get a close-up view of the intersection when you come to a, uh, a, a turn instruction by the system. So we can turn that close-up view on or off. And we'll scroll down to our next page. Next is AV guide mode and app guide mode. These two things are almost the same, except uh, you get map information on the screen when you're listening to the radio or some other AV source. And this is map information that comes up on the screen when you're using app mode, uh, app radio mode in the AVIC Z150BH. Both of these things can be turned on or off. Next up, we have minor ordinary road, major ordinary road, and the next one is freeway. And you'll see all three of these have uh, miles per hour associated with them. So on a minor ordinary road, we're set to 25 miles per hour. On a major road, we're set to 45, and freeway, we're set to 60. 
This has to do with your estimated time of arrival. If you typically drive faster than 60 miles per hour on a freeway, maybe you like to drive at about 75, you can mark that and this will adjust your estimated time of arrival based on the roads that you'll be using. The same thing with the others. If you tend to drive a little faster or a little slower, make those adjustments for more accurate time of arrival information. Uh, next up is our measurements, kilometers or miles per hour. You could also go miles and yards if you want to set it that way. And then traffic information on is, is set on right now. The AVIC Z150BH has a built-in traffic tuner and it is set on and you can route around traffic dynamically. And we're back around to our road color. Let's go back now out of Navi settings and we'll move on to our AV settings. For more information on the AV settings, go and check out the audio settings video. Next, we have our source settings menu. And here we have a couple of different things to choose from. Our first is our AV input. We have two AV inputs available on the AVIC Z150BH, but they are not in the source menu unless you choose to turn them on. So with AV input on, uh, number one on, that'll now show up in the source menu. And I'm gonna turn that off again. All right, we'll go back. Next is our SD and USB card settings for video. Right now they are set for full video output. They're also capable of doing audio. And then we have two settings for DivX. If you like to use DivX DVDs, you can play them back with this system. Next is our iPod settings. And depending on the type of iPod or iPhone that you are using, it's either going to use a 30-pin connector or it'll use a digital AV connector. If you have an iPhone 5 or an iPod version 5, you're going to use the digital AV connector. If you have an iPod 4, iPhone 4, or 4S, you're going to use the 30-pin connector, and that's what I'm using in this example. We'll go back and back one more. Next up is our app settings. So for app settings, right now I'm set to iPhone. If you're using an Android phone, you want to switch to the Android setting. In this application, I'm using an iPhone 4 4S. So that's what we'll choose. And again, if you're using an iPhone 5, you want the digital AV connector. If you're using iPhone 4 or 4S, you're going to want the 30-pin connector. We'll go back. And we can choose our app keyboard settings. Right now we're set to US English. You have a number of choices to work with there. All right, next is our volume and position adjustment. Our volume settings look like this. Let's go to volume. Our guidance setting right now is set to 16. You can adjust how loud the computer speaks to you for turn-by-turn -turn instruction on navigation, and you can turn that beep that we're hearing on or off. Here is, is our telephone adjustment, the voice telephone for telephone calls. You can adjust here, the volume of the voice, and also the volume of the ringtone can be adjusted here. Once you've made those settings, you can go back, and then we have our mute settings. With our mute settings, we can choose only telephone or voice guidance and telephone, and we can choose to attenuate that music, that, the music or completely mute it. So for example, I want to uh, change this to guidance, voice guidance and telephone, and I can mute the, I'm sorry, attenuate the music by 10 dB, I can attenuate it by 20 dB, or I can completely mute the music if I want to when I'm getting voice guidance or when I'm on a phone call. Once I've made those changes, go back out. We'll go back out one more level here. Next is modify my current location. Usually when you're driving using GPS, the system will update your, uh, your position automatically. However, in some retail environments where you don't get a good GPS signal, you may need to adjust the system like this and tell it exactly where you are. This isn't something you would typically use in a, in a, uh, a typical installation. Then we have find alternative location where you can drop a marker on a spot that isn't typically mapped. And we'll go back out there. All right, and last thing here is our system settings. For more information on the Bluetooth settings, check out the Bluetooth settings video. Next up are our regional settings. And here, we can change the program language from US English to another language. We can do the same thing with the voice language. Be careful here, if you don't speak Spanish or you don't speak French, if you pick those languages, you may have a difficult time switching back to English. We'll go back. Next up are our time settings. For more information on the time settings and how to set the clock, check out the time settings video. Next up is our splash screen setting. Here, 
is the current image on the splash screen is right here, and we can see that image. This is what you see when you start up your car. We can change that if you want to, to a couple of different presets that are held in the system. Or, if you want, you can load your own image from an SD card. Once you've changed the image and chosen what you like, you can press back. Next up is our illumination settings. And here, we can change the color of the illumination of the, key, the hard keys across the bottom to a number of different colors. Or, we can choose to have the, the full range of colors scan across the, across the keys at all times. If I want to customize what we're seeing, we can press the custom button and I can slowly move the, the marker across the rainbow, or I can just pick a different spot on that rainbow. We'll go back. I'm going to choose my green again. We'll go back out. Next up are our backup camera settings. The AVIC Z150BH is equipped with a backup camera input, so if you've installed a backup camera, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you should see what's behind you. The camera has to be turned on, so we can turn the camera on from this position. Next, during the installation, it's either going to turn on by the battery or by a ground input. You can choose that here. Next up is our uh, parking assist line adjustment. These lines will be seen when, you, when the backup camera is switched on. You can adjust the parking assist line so they line up with your vehicle by doing this. Here, choose each node and make an adjustment to that node. Once you've made an adjustment to that node, hit this button to choose a different node and make an adjustment here. Once you've made the adjustment so you can back up your vehicle, you can hit back out. Next up is the parking assist line display. Right now it's turned off. We can also turn it on. So if you've purchased a camera that has backup uh, parking assist lines already in it, you might want to turn this off so you don't have double lines. We'll go back out. Next up is our rear monitor output. The AVIC Z150BH is capable of outputting uh, entertainment to a rear monitor. You may want to switch that rear monitor on or switch it off. And if you would like to restore everything to its default settings, you can do that with this button here. When you're done making adjustments to the system settings, you can just hit the X to get out.